Alrighty, well, hi everybody. Well, I'm, um, thought I'd go ahead and showcase this warrior I got on, uh, Guild Wars 2. Um, I'm currently working on my Final Fantasy XIV blog post, and I'm just, like usual, I'm at a point where I, I kind of want to talk about my warrior on there, but I find it a lot easier to just make a video about it and then just, you know, just up and upload that to the blog rather than having to sit here and type this whole mile-long wall of text with images and all that other stuff, you know, so in a situation like this, it's a lot easier to show than tell. So. And then, um, like usual, I'm going to have some music going in the background. Um, this is going to be, uh, Cosmic Stereochrome. I, I just call it that. It, one of them's the name of the band, one of them's the name of the album, I can't remember which, so... Yeah, it just, it just kind of occurred to me. This guy's sparkly. I mean, maybe after this video or something, I'll try to figure out how to turn that off. He ain't no Twilight vampire. But anyway, let me uh, go ahead and get the music fired up. Okay, so... Let me, uh, let me kill a window or two. Give me, more, give me some more space to work with. Let's get that out of there. Okay, so... Now, warriors in this game, unlike a lot of what, like uh, warriors in a lot of other games, he's actually um he leans a bit more heavily towards group support rather than just outright damage, you know, just outright straight DPS. So, and at least, at least with the particular build that I have, um. But yeah, uh, it's what sword, warhorn, is um, it's a team, it's a team support. Then uh, then we got a longbow, you know, which uh, one of uh, one of this guy's biggest quirks. Um, unlike unlike most other class, or like most every other classes. You can, um, outside of combat, you can, you can swap out of weapons as much as you want. But, uh, in combat, though, there's a 10-second cooldown. So you, you have to wait 10 seconds, but if you have this particular, um, uh, this particular spec, it's actually reduced to 5 seconds. So that's a big one. And then... Um, his main weapon is a sword, and mostly centered around, uh, bleeding, crippling, uh, gap closer. It's, and it's also, a uh, it's a leap finisher. And for those that don't know, I don't, I don't think I could, what I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to explain the way combos work in this game, but, yeah. I only have a, I only have half of it. The first half of it is called the combo field. It's the, um, it's the main element that gets laid on the ground, like, you know, water, lightning, um, poison, that kind of thing. A combo finisher is the, uh, is the other half of the locket, if that makes any sense. In this case here, finisher is blast, which, um, it, uh, it, uh, it does a combo effect amongst everything in the uh, in their in its radius. This is called a lead finisher. Um, it ain't, I don't I don't actually know, but either it, it affects me or it affects my opponent, my target. I said a few minutes ago, at least the particular build that I have, this is actually a, more of a team support. Yeah, you can say so, group support. So, yeah, give, give an additional bumper to to any nearby allies. I 
deal more damage, the more uh, boom, the more buffs that are on me. Buff an allies every 10 seconds. Um, and whenever I do that, it actually heals me a little bit. And on top of that, uh, kind of like a kind of again, uh, like I said a few minutes ago, um, at least with this build here, it's actually uh, geared towards uh, group support rather than just outright damp DPS. So I gain healing power in that. Um, and now, a previous weapon that I had. I used to use a mace. Which I guess I can go ahead and equip that. Well, like I said, uh. So, I went with the defense spec. This one, this um, like I said, like I like I says here, um, movement impairing effects don't affect me as, affect me as much. And then adrenaline, I'll, I do need to show this. This is a base. This is the main mechanic of warriors. As they're dealing damage, their adrenaline goes up. And at least with this particular weapon. Um, it actually stuns the target. This is a. Uh, this is more of a more. This is a, a weapon that's more centered around blocking and interrupting opponents. But um, as of recently, well, let me let me let me back up a bit. So again, whenever you do a burst attack, it heals you. So like, but like I said, this is uh, this is focused on uh, stunning, interrupting, and all that. Okay, yeah, I think I have this. So, but like I said, this is this is what I used to have, but recently. I've, uh, I've switched over to st over to the sword, which is uh, kind of centers around damage over time, specifically bleed damage. So, of course, arms is um uh, is centered around the sword. So, and then expertise for those who don't know, um, it's a stat that increases how long you're off. Uh, your debuffs last. And then Fury is another buff. It increases your crit rate by like 25% or something like that. Uh-oh. And there we go. There's the sword one. And there's an event that had just, just occurred right on me. And this is um, also a dual wielding, but I need a... I guess that'll be good. I guess it'll be a great time to take this guy out for a spin. Kind of show you a bit about what he does, how he works. Right here, we have uh, healing, and uh, and these three are centered around uh, stability, a very important buff to have, and uh, something else, and uh, stun breaking as well. So, if you are stunned for whatever reason, it says on the bottom, break stun. 
Ah, yes, the other weapon. My other weapon is a longbow. ideas to all this classwork or let me rephrase that a rough a rough sketch as to how this uh how this uh, particular character works and um i forgot to mention at the start of this video too um normally i would do uh do these character demos in um uh, in the pvp lobby but i thought it would be a bit more organic if I just uh, did this out in the field, I did this on my faith class on my last video. Alright, that uh, that blue cat in the upper right corner. Uh, I think we got something going on here. Oh, that's uh. Just for kills. Okay, there he is. Alright, looks like this is another uh guild event, so definitely not for me. Great idea in theory. Just pick one at random. Might be my first choice. Auto attack, gap closer, um, kind of an execution move. It's done when um when your opponent is at 50% health or left or less. I mean, and there's the buffer, and I accidentally back fingered it. But, um, this here's a uh, it is barrier to everybody around me. One hit a quitter. And I always kind of want to try to look for something tougher, too. back here and try to follow that blue cat. But I think he, um, I think he's mainly doing a, a guild event. We got one. But again, I don't I'm here. Um, I think I tried to explain it like a few minutes ago during that one event. But the ability is on the right side. I mean, this is my healing ability. And uh, the 
blue number that you're seeing? I can find it. Yeah. Shout skills, heal allies, so once again, there's a healing aspect to a warrior, not something I see very often in other games. So that's a shout there. That's a stance. That's another shout there, so this one also heals people around me. And then when I when I had my mace as a weapon, I had this. This is a stance. But anyway, um, these skills, they're basically, they're basically chosen because they're either, they either give me stability, or they're stun breaks. And we got some. Nope. And just giving everybody around me, uh, furious swiftness and quickness. But yeah, I'm in the middle of a... This actually is a normal event, but it's a collection event. You're not actually having to fight anything. Okay, so, um, I'll just go ahead and call it good here. Not quite the, not quite the greatest demo in the world. Um, I don't think I showed the things that I wanted to show, but like I said, I gotta, I have to kind of cut it short here because I need to get back on on my blog post. So, and then I still got to get this video all prepped up and uploaded to YouTube and all that good stuff. So, uh, but otherwise, thanks for watching everybody. I appreciate that and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.